What is going on there guys, CG Gaming here, bringing you back another Destiny 2 video. Today we're going to be going over the weekly reset for the 22nd of May 2018 and the third week into the new Warmind DLC. So let's kick things off with the return of Iron Banner. It's the first one for Season 3 and again since the new DLC dropped and it's going to be a bit interesting. The fan loved Bannerfall's map from Destiny 1 makes a return this week and that's been slightly revamped with the after scars from the War with the Red Legion. So that's going to be pretty interesting to see itself. Uh, there's actually a new ranking system in place that's going to be where you use tokens to level up your Iron Banner rank all the way to what I'm assuming will be 35 because if you have a look here, the ship Esfera Triumph is actually re ranked. 35 this season so it would be pretty pointless to actually go beyond that but it does look pretty cool um, I've got to admit. Rest of the wards seem okay. The hunter ornaments actually look pretty cool, so I'm definitely going to be grinding for them. But the weapons don't seem too great at the moment. The hand cannon itself actually has some potential because it has that adaptive frame um, and it has that faster sort of aim down sight. And maybe some of the other weapons, but until I get them and try them out, I, w I just won't know. But if any of them are worth mentioning, then I'll definitely do a review on the good ones. Okay, so with Tess Eververse, uh, we've got a couple of different things here today, or this week even. We've got the collaborative dance, we've got the disco dance, we've got the vehicle glam to bogan, <laughs> uh, we've got the dusk, dusk harrier, the ship, we've got the curious glory XL11, that's another ship, then we have the ghost shell, the skyline flip side shell, which does actually look pretty interesting itself, it looks pretty cool, like a little disco ball, uh, we've got the quays passing hunter cloak. We've got the Dread from below, which is the Telestro ornament. And then we also have the Jade Dresser, which is uh, the ornament for the Jade Rabbit. And we've also got the Purple Class Sigil and the Ghost Green, along with Omelon Meteor Gloss Shader. We've got the Vest or Vest Poison Shimmer, uh, Dawn and Dusk. And we've also got Indigo Matrix, which is, I'm going to get a few of them actually, because yeah, I, it looks pretty cool to me. And then we've got our normal sort of boons and everything. Going into the Prismatic Matrix, uh, we've got the Eon Drive vehicle. We've got the Positive Infinity for the World Line Zero, which is pretty cool that they've released, or um, well, they've got the weapon ornament for that already for the new sword. We've got the Mind Barrage vehicle. We've got the Freaky Dance. We have the Pitfall Scouter E5D, the Andes Peak Hunter, Alton's Ambush, Riveted Majesty Shell. We've got the Fleet Scar 9 and the Orca Song Shell. So that's it for the uh, for the prismatic matrix for this week and Tess Everest. Now everybody's probably already on their uh, well the third week of Nascent Dawn questline. Um, unfortunately, I had a bit of a mix up this weekend because I actually had a four day weekend. I booked off the Friday and the Monday, and yeah, last night basically felt to me like Sunday night. So I thought, oh, it's okay. I've got another day to get the javelin kills for the second part. But yeah, I messed up and I thought about it when I got to work today. I was like, oh no. It's actually Tuesday. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't actually get that done. So I'm going to be a week behind everybody else, which does suck. But, yeah, you can go for that. And I believe you've just got to, um, you've just got to do Escalation Protocol. I think you've got to get 10 rounds beat in total. So I'm pretty sure that you could just do one round at a time if you can't get too many people together to actually do, like, seven and three. But, yeah, that's what it is for this week. And then we've got the Milestones for this week, which is just the normal Leviathan. You can complete any of the Raid or Raid layer. Um, you've got the daily Iron Banner challenges, which is going to be good for this week. You've got Clan XP. With Clan XP, I'm not going to actually turn in the rewards myself because obviously last week there was a bit of a glitch. And if you did it, you would only, if you turn it in, you would only get out of 340. So you'll notice this week as well that you'll actually, if you didn't turn it in, you'll just have rewards in your inventory already. I actually got, a, I think it was a 353 rocket launcher and then i got a 353 cape as well for my hunter which is going to be used so i haven't actually checked my titan yet so i will check that shortly but again i'm just going to leave it this week until we've got confirmation from Bungie that it's actually been fixed and the flashpoint is going to be an io so obviously just do public events there you've got the nightfall uh, which i'll go over which that is in a minute but that's going to be another powerful gear um, obviously crucible now iron banner is going to count towards that so you can just when you smash out iron banner you're going to go through that and actually win the glory and get the powerful gear from there and then you've got the heroic strikes as well so for heroic strikes this week we've got the arc singe the arc damage increases slightly from all sources grounded damage taken while you are airborne is greatly increased and the grenadia which is grenade ability still more damage and recharge much faster so that's going to be uh, for this week and heroic strike playlist okay so for the nightfall this week we've got the inverted spire so make sure that you do that so you can get some rewards to go above your 
current power level and then also turn in the mission quest for that powerful engram. Well that's it for this week. I know I'm going to be grinding out those iron banner rewards this week and just finishing off those milestones. So just keep grinding and climbing up those power levels and I will make sure that I do the same. So thanks for watching the video guys. If you liked it then leave a like and if you are new to the channel and find my videos helpful and interesting then please hit that subscribe button for more Destiny 2 content. Alright guys have an awesome day and I'll see you all in the next video.